Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren, fitness trainer, and I'm so excited to partner with NOW on this exclusive 30-minute upper body pull workout. Today, we are hitting the back and the biceps, and we're going to raise your heart rate with some cardio Tabatas. And I have the awesome Rachel. Hi. She's joining me for today's workout, and she's going to offer low-impact modifications for the cardio portion of today's workout. So you can follow along with Rachel if you want to go low impact, follow along with me if you want to go high impact. We are going to hit the back and the bicep, your two upper body pull muscles that work together. Okay, so we'll go three circuits. Your first circuit is back, then we go biceps, and then we put them together, back and by together. You have two strength exercises per circuit done in 40 second intervals with 20 seconds of rest, repeat at times two sets, and then we go into a cardio Tabata where you have two more cardio moves. They're going to be done in 20 second intervals with 10 second rest, and you're going to do those times three sets. You got three circuits, you're going to knock out strength and cardio Tabata all in one quick and dirty 30 minute upper body workout. Are you ready, Rachel? I'm ready. Let's go. She is ready. All you need are some dumbbells. We have anywhere from 20s to 15s. You can grab whatever weights you have available to you or anything to toggle between and let's get ourselves warmed up with a good body weight warm-up are you ready let's do it all right feet are stacked underneath my hips and let's just start with some arm flaps go ahead just flap those wings start to open up the chest the shoulders nice shoulders are down out of the ears nice from here we're gonna take our hands right to our hips. You're gonna hinge forward into a hinge position like you would be for a bent over row. Pull your belly nice and tight. Arms are gonna come out, thumbs are gonna go up towards the ceiling. You're gonna go straight out in front of you. You're gonna go wide to the side, 45, and then you're gonna go wide to a T. So go straight out, wide to the side, now wide to a T. Nice, straight out, 45 degrees. Now all the way out to the side, make a T. Nice, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together as you pull those arms up right up to shoulder height Warming up the core, the back, the shoulders. Nice. Open it up. Two more, two more. Straight up. 45. Take it to a T. One more, one more. Straight up. 45. Take it to a T. Nice work. Stand up. Actually, we're going to go right down. Let's just take it down. We're going to go right down to the mat. Quadruped position. We're going to find a nice stable bird dog. So hips and knees are on, or knees are on the mat, hands are on the mat. I'm going to reach opposite hand, opposite leg. Tap and reach right here. Tap and reach. So I got my right leg, left arm, tap and reach. Go right here. Nice. Give me five, four, hold it long in three, warming up those back extensors. Two, last one, last one. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Switch your side. Right arm, left leg. Let's go. Reach and tap. Reach and tap. You got it. Nice. Warming up those back extensors. Low back and mid upper back go for five hold it long in four you got this three two last one last one hold it here for five four three two one nice work from here we're going to go scapular retraction so you are simply going to drop your chest now pull your shoulder blades apart drop your chest pull your shoulder blades apart one more drop your chest Pull your shoulder blades apart. Hold here. Tuck your toes under. Hips go up and back. Down dog. Take your right hand. Reach for your left calf shin ankle. Replant. High plank. Push back. Left hand reaches for the right calf shin ankle. Replant. High plank. Shift the hips high. Tap and drive. Nice work. Tap and drive. Nice work. Tap. High plank. Warming up the core. The shoulders get a nice little reach back. Stretch those lats. One more each side. Right hand, left foot. Nice. Left hand, right foot. Find that high plank. Hold it here. Drive those knees towards your chest. Slower, fast. Climb that mountain. Eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow burpees. Give me the right leg, then the left leg. Stand up. Take it down. Step back right. Step back left. Step up left, then right. Take it down. Nice work. One more each side. Step with the right foot. Go right, then left. Stand up. Take it down. Nice work. Let's go on the left. Go left. Ooh. Then right. <laughs> Woo, Matt's coming with you all the way up. Let's jack it up. Jack it. Option jacks or taps for eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's shuffle laterally. So shuffle, shuffle here. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Nice. Just going to move in all directions. Get that heart rate ready. Do some lateral shuffles for the cardio portion of today's workout. One more each way. Finish it. Nice. You warm, Rachel? I'm warm. She's warm. Grab a quick sip of water. We're going to jump into your first circuit. It is back. 
If you have two strength exercises, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Starting with two back rows, one back fly. Right here, I'm gonna come into a hinge over position. Palms are gonna face in, narrow row. So I row, I row, then I fly. One, or so two back rows to one fly. You're gonna do that for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I'll show you my move number two. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, when I come into that hinged over position, first think about bending the knees, then hinging the hips, keeping the dumbbells tight to the body, okay? You find that low back pain, the farther those dumbbells get away from your body, keep those dumbbells tight to the body, okay? Then you're not gonna get that low back pain in that bent over position. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's bend those knees, hinge those hips, two rows, one fly in three, two, let's go, let's go. So we row, we row, palms stay facing in, fly. Nice work, control it down. Row, this is slow controlled strength right here, nice. And a fly. Two rows to one fly, pulling just to where elbows meet rib cage. Think about pulling from the elbows, and nice. And then on that fly, you're thinking about controlling those weights back down together. Really easy to just let them come down, no touching. Try not to let those dumbbells touch at the center. Keep constant tension on that back, keep it controlled. Right here, you got this. Nice work, two rows, one fly for 10 more seconds. Stay with it, nice work guys. You're in the final five. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go to a lying pullover, so I'm gonna go one heavy dumbbell. I'm gonna grab a stability ball. Rachel's gonna go straight to the mat. Do whatever works best for you, okay? If you have a bench or a chair, you're just gonna get more range of motion with the bench or chair than you would um, with the stability ball than you would on the ground. Right here, I'm gonna hold it the long way. Rachel can hold it flat. We go in three, two, one. I'm reaching those arms overhead and pulling up. So because I have the stability ball, I'm getting greater range of motion. I'm gonna hold my dumbbell the long way. Rachel could hold each head of the dumbbell in her hands and go same thing. So right here, we're hitting the lats, which are typically pretty hard to do with just dumbbells. You typically hit those with lateral pull downs, pull ups, things of that nature. This is a great way to hit them with the dumbbells, your lats. Think about you're squeezing the armpit down towards the hip. You're working that muscle that falls just over the sports bra here. That's what we're targeting, the lats. It's the biggest, largest muscle group in your upper body. So go heavy for the final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Bring it back up. Repeat those two movements. So we go back to two rows, one back fly, and then we go for our pullover. All right? Those are your two moves in circuit number one, hitting the back, the mid back, and then we're hitting the lats. Grab your weights. Two rows, one fly. In three, two. Let's go, let's go. Palms face in. Row, row, and then one fly. You got it. Fly. Nice work. Here we go. Row, row. Find that gaze in front of you. Nice flat back, neutral spine, belly button pulled back towards that spine. Nice. Right here. You got it. Pull, pull, think about pulling those shoulder blades down and back, nice. And then flying, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Up, control it down, up, control it down. Don't let those dumbbells touch in the middle. 10 seconds, you got this. Right here, squeeze, come on. Last time you're gonna do it, right here. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, I'm going back to my one heavier weight. Gonna grab that stability ball, pullovers, pullovers. If you get greater range of motion right here, you can hold it the long way, or you can go with Rachel, hold each head of that dumbbell. All right, nice work, here we go. Let's squeeze those lats. In three, two, let's go. All the way down, big exhale, pulls that dumbbell back overhead. Inhale down, exhale, pull it back overhead. You got it. Nice work, hitting those lats. Big muscle groups today, you guys. Back and biceps, back is the largest muscle group in your upper body. Go heavy and make it work right here. Come on. Big inhale down, exhale, pull it up. Every exhale is an opportunity to squeeze that core. If there's a blueberry resting on your belly button, that exhale squeezes that blueberry that's resting on your belly button. Nice work. You got it. Stay with me. Come on. Five seconds here. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more because you can. Nice work. Roll it on up. Those are your two strength moves. Drop those weights. I think actually we're going to keep those weights. And then you're going to go into our cardio Tabata sequence. You have two exercises. You're going to do them for 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Okay? So it looks like this. I'm actually going to take my two dumbbells and I'm going to spread them out like this and like this. We're going to have to stagger so we don't hit each other. There we go. Nice. Right here. 
I'll start on the left. I'm going to perform a lateral hop over to my right. Lateral hop. Outside arm grabs the weight. Row. Lateral hop. Row. Lateral hop. Row. So you're giving me one lateral hop, one row. The outside hand is what is rowing, OK? One lateral hop, one row. It's 20 seconds of work. And then from there, you're going to go right into keeping your weights where they are. Step in between them. And you're going to do squat jacks with Rachel. Otherwise, you're going to give me tap, jack, tap, jack, tap, jack. So I'm hitting that dumbbell, giving myself a 180 twist in between. Yes? So take those dumbbells, line them up on your mat right here. Lateral hop. Let's start at our left. We're going to push right. Lateral hop, single arm row. 20 seconds of work. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, that 20 second timer starts in three, two. Let's go. Lateral hop, get low, row. Nice. Lateral hop. Here we go. Row. Nice. So I'm hopping right, rowing right. Hopping left, rowing right, or left. There we go. <laughs> same arm, same hop. Nice. Again, you get to take this at your pace. It's your 20 seconds. You do you here in the final five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Those dumbbells are going to stay right where they are. I'm going to step in between them. I'm going to do a hit. So let's start facing my right dumbbell. Tap it. 180 in the middle in three, two. Let's go. Squat, jack, squat, jack. I got high impact. Rachel's got low impact. She's just taking out that pivot and twist. You do what works for you. Come on. This is what we call the ponytail flip. <laughs> 10 seconds. Halfway. Keep moving. You got this. You're in it. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. 10 seconds to recover. Take a giant step to your right. We're going to push that left dumbbell. Lateral hop and row in three, two. Let's go. Lateral hop, row on the left. Lateral hop, row on the right. You got it. Hop and row. Come on, it's 20 seconds. Make the most of it. Meant to raise your heart rate. Still work in the back. 10 seconds, halfway. There's those legs starting to feel the fire. Get low, get low. Come on, five. Four, three, two, and you're out. Nice work. I'm going to step right in between my dumbbells. Rachel's going to step behind hers. Let's start facing left this time. Tap the dumbbell, 180. We go in three, two, let's go. Tap. Come on. Squat jacks. Think about pulling those inner thighs together as you stand nice and tall. Get those hands overhead. Bigger the hands, higher that heart rate. Let's go, let's go. Cardiovascular endurance right here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Recover. Giant step left. Push right. Third set, best set, last set. Come on. Three, two, let's go. Lateral hop and row. Lateral hop and row. You got this. Nice flat back. Gaze in front of you. Neutral spine. Come on, come on. Halfway. Ten seconds, team. Let's go, let's go. Keep moving. Woo. You got this right here. Five. Four, three, two, recover. Whew. 10 seconds. Here we go. Final time on the squat jack. Final time on the squat jack. Add the turn if you want to in three, two, let's go. Tap it, jack it, tap it, jack it. Come on. 20 seconds. You're working for that break. Yes, you are. It comes in 10. 10 seconds. Finish it. You got this. Come on, five. Four, this is real ponytail flip. Three, <laughs> two, one. Ponytail is just woo on that one. Nice work, guys. Recover. Grab some water. Circuit one, back in the books. Circuit two, biceps. On to biceps. First move, back to 40 20s. 40 seconds of strength, 20 seconds of rest. Standard curl, wide curl. Palms are going to face out. Shoulders down and back. I do a standard curl, and then arms go wide, wide curl. One standard curl, one wide curl, and then we'll go into some hammer curls. Woo, back to back. Biceps are going to burn. Are gonna you ready? Burn. <laughs> it's going to burn. It's going to be a good burn. Stop bending the knees. Think about spreading that floor apart underneath you. Flip your palms so they're facing me. Roll those shoulders down and back. We'll start with the standard curl. In three, two, let's go. One standard curl. One wide curl. Nice work, guys. One standard curl into one wide curl. You got this. One and one. Your pace, your tempo. Grab some heavy weights and get after it right here. Yes, you can. You totally got this. Come on. One rep at a time. Let's go. You're halfway. 20 seconds. Exhale. Pulls it up. Inhale down. Exhale. Squeeze those biceps. 
Keep spreading that floor apart underneath you. Active core, active quads and glutes. 10 seconds here. Let's go. Bring it home. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to set those dumbbells down, shake out those wrists. Nice work. We're going to go into hammer curls. I'm going to hold the right arm halfway as my left arm curls for four. And then I'm going to switch. Right arm or left arm holds, right arm curls for four. So four hammer curls per arm while the other arm is under constant tension. Grab your dumbbells. Get that right arm halfway. Three, two, let's go. Left arm curl for four. Nice. For three, you got it. For two, last one and we switch. Halfway hold on the left, right arm curls for four. You got it. Three, keeping one arm under constant tension. Two, nice work. One, switch it out. Right arm holds, left arm curls for four. Come on. Three, awesome job. Two, last one. We switch it out. Come on, finish 10 seconds here. Go right for four. Three, nice work for two. Last one, give me one more. Then can you curl both arms down and up? That's your finisher, you're out. Set them down, shake it out. Woo. Nice work, guys. Those are your two bicep exercises. We repeat them, starting with the good old standard curl, wide curl, 40 seconds of work. You feel those arms? I feel my up. arms, yeah, getting pumped up, right? right? <laughs> I will pump you up. Here we go. Shoulders down and back, spread that floor apart. Three, two, here we go. Standard curl, nice wide curl. There you go, squeeze those biceps, pulling those weights right up to shoulder height. Big exhale as you pull up. Inhale, lower with control. Exhale, pull up. Inhale, lower with control. That slight little flip from wide to standard, just slightly working a different head of that two-headed bicep muscle. Halfway. You got it. Stay in it. Come on, one rep at a time. That's what we're working for right here. One rep at a time. Ten seconds, team. You got this. Stay in it. Right here. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Set them down. Shake it out. Nice work. Back to hammers. You're going to hold one arm and curl for four. Hold and curl for four. Constant tension on those biceps. Again, flipping it in. Hammer curl. We're just hitting the long head of the bicep. Standard curl hits the short head. Always something to work. Here we go. Grab your weights. Bring that left arm up halfway in three, two. Let's curl. Right arm curls for four. Nice work. For three. Awesome job. For two. Last one. Switch your arms. Left arm goes down and up. That's four. Three. Nice work. Two. Keep those shoulders out of the ears. Last one. Switch it out. Right arm down. Four. You got it. Three. Stay with it. Two. Last one. Let's switch it out. Come on. Left arm finishes right here. Give me four. Nice work. Three. Come on. Two, last one, then you're gonna be in a double curl. Both arms go all the way down, all the way up. You're out, set it down, shake it out. That is biceps, we go cardio Tabata. Two moves, let me show you what they are. You're gonna need one dumbbell for the first move. Optional, it's optional. Gonna keep those biceps turned on. <laughs> gonna hold it halfway, hello biceps, there they are. I'm gonna lateral shuffle, so shuffle, shuffle, press. Shuffle, push. Shuffle, push. We'll do one shuffle for space purposes yeah. in here. Take a giant step to your right, we, or giant step to your left. We shuffle right, shuffle right. Dumbbells totally optional. You can do this lateral shuffles, no dumbbell. You decide, it's 20 seconds. Oh, I gotta show you your second move because it goes so fast. <laughs> You're gonna drop that weight and go right into mountain climbers. So holding a plank, driving your knees towards your chest. Yes? There we go. Woo! Lateral shuffle, dumbbell press out. 20 seconds of work. We go in three, two, Let's go, let's go. Shuffle, push, shuffle, push, shuffle, push. Nice. Using those biceps to hold that weight halfway. Nice. Lateral shuffle and push. Exhale, push. Nice. Core's turning on as you push that weight away from your body. Hello, core. Come on, five seconds. Woo, you got it. Three, two, and one. Set that weight down. You're going to go into mountain climbers holding plank. Option slow knee drives, option fast. Option hands can come on a chair or bench for an incline. We go in three. Two, climb that mountain, let's go. Drive, 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 come on. 20 seconds here. Drive your knees towards your chest, slower, fast, it's up to you. You got this, 10 seconds, come on. Keep driving, right here. Woo, go for five, four, three, two, you're out. 
Nice work, guys. Back up to standing. Grab that weight if you want it. <laughs> Take a giant step to your right. We'll shuffle left. Shuffle left. Arms are halfway. Let's go. Three, two. Let's go. Shuffle, push, shuffle, push, shuffle, push. Come on. Yes, there it is. Nice. Keep those arms halfway point. Hello, biceps are flex. They're turned on. Core is tight. Heart rate's rising. Five seconds. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Dumbbells down. Climb that mountain. Come on, climb that mountain. Slow or fast. It's up to you. Find that plank. You're on in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Drive those knees towards your chest right here. You got it. You can always bring those hands up to an incline. Just keep moving. Yes, you can. Halfway team, 10 seconds. Let's go, get after it. Drive for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. 10 second recovery. Last set. Third set is, what Rachel? The best set. Three, two, <laughs> let's go. Lateral shuffle. Push. I don't even have words. <laughs> push, push, come on. Finish strong right here. Finish it guys. Let's go, 10 seconds. Push, shuffle, push, shuffle, push. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that dumbbell. Climb that mountain for the final time. Last 20 seconds right here, team. Come on, it goes in three, two, one. As you get tired, you start to push back. Keep those shoulders stacked over those wrists. Let's go. Drive those knees towards your chest. Yes, you can. You got this. Woo! 10 seconds. Just keep moving. Keep moving. That break, it's coming in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Woo! Nice work. There you go, Lindsay. Two circuits down. One to go. Grab some water. Grab some water. Circuit number three, we superset. We're putting back and biceps together, okay? So we're supersetting it. Putting back and biceps together. Why? Because they work together in pulling motions. As you pull that door open, right? That's back and biceps working together. Same thing here. We're going to go reverse grip row. Bicep curl in a stack on fashion. So hinge over, palms face out. I go one reverse row. I stand up, one bicep curl. I hinge, I do two rows, and then I stand and I do two curls. So you keep stacking on three rows, three curls, four rows, four curls, yes? How many can you get to in 40 seconds? That's your goal. You ready? Let's go. Palms are facing out, so we're hitting that mid upper back. Low back is turned on two. Remember, bend those knees, hinge it forward, dumbbells are tight. Right here, roll those shoulders down and back. We go in three, two, let's go. We start with one row, stand up, one curl. Hinge it back over, two and two. Two rows, right here. Nice, stand up, two curls. Awesome, palms stay facing out the entire time. Hinge it over, go three rows, three, nice, two, and one. Stand it up, three curls, curl for three. You got it, two, and one, hinge, let's go for four and four. Come on, four. Nice work. Three, awesome job. Two, last one, last one. Stand it up, let's get four curls in. Come on, go four. You got it. Three, come on. Two, and one. Drop those weights. Nice work. Take a recovery. You're going to drop down to one dumbbell. We'll go dumbbell in the right hand. Now you're going to do a stack on row or I'm sorry, stack on fly with a hammer curl. So one fly, nice, one hammer curl. Two flies, two hammer curl, just on the right arm. We go in three, hinge it over. Two, let's go, one fly on the right, stand up, one hammer curl on the right. I'm gonna take a staggered stance, it feels better for my back. Let's go, two flies, two flies, nice, stand up, two single arm hammer curls, nice. Single arm hammer curls, go for the three, right here. Go three, nice work, go two, Awesome job. Go one, stand it up, hammer curl for three. You got it. Two, nice work. And one, we go four and four right here, come on. Go four, nice work. Three, stay with it. Two, last one, last one, one. Let's finish the curls, you got four, three, two, and one, you're out. So you drop those weights, you shake it out, and repeat it, you guys, last set, okay? Back to those reverse grip rows. We got to four, so this time we're actually gonna start. You're gonna give me four reverse grip rows. Stand up, give me four curls. Let's see if we can get back to one. Yes, grab your weights. 
Palms are out. Bend your knees, hinge it over. We go in three, two. Let's start with four rows. Go four, nice work. Go three, awesome job. Go two, last one, last one. Stand it up and curl. Give me four, awesome job. Three, nice work. Two, last one. Go for three and three right here. Hinge it over. Three, two, nice, one. Stand up right here, curl three. Awesome job. Curl two, nice work. Curl one, hinge it over. Two and two, go for two. Nice work. One, stand up, let's go two curls. Curl, awesome job, and curl. Oh, we didn't get to one and one, let's finish it. One, and finish with one. Nice work, there we go. Awesome job, take that dumbbell right here, left hand. Okay, I'm gonna go sacred stance again. One fly, one hammer curl. Let's see, what did we get to last time? Four? I think so. Like almost four. Three, two, let's go. One fly, we didn't finish off the curls. One curl, nice, go two and two. Go two flies, <sighs> nice. Keep that core nice and tight to stabilize you. Two hammer curls. There you go, you guys, come on, finish. Back and bicep right here. Three and three, three flies, go three. Two, nice work. Last one, stand up and curl for three. <sighs> two, and one. Now we go for fours right here. Go four, <sighs> three, awesome job. Go two, last one. Let's finish it. We're gonna go for the four curls. We're gonna finish it. Go four, nice. Go three, awesome job. Two, and one. Nice work. You get to set those weights down, you guys. Set those weights down. We go body. Oh, wait, we do need one. You need one dumbbell for the second move. So your first move, you have two cardio moves. This is how you finish this workout, yes? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, three sets. This is it. Final round. We go lateral shuffle again. Lateral shuffle. This time, jab, jab. Lateral shuffle. Jab, jab. Knock it out. Jab, jab. So a little lateral hop or shuffle, whatever works for you. And then I'm going to grab one dumbbell. And dumbbell will be in my right hand first, right side only. It is a burpee single arm row. So I'm going to hop back to burpee. Burpee, single arm row on the right. Burpee, single arm row on the right. Okay? So it's like a half burpee with one single arm row. Staying just on the right arm, then we'll go left arm, and then we'll alternate. Yes? Woo! Lateral shuffle, two jabs. This is the final cardio round. Take a giant step to your left. Lateral hop or shuffle to the right. Knock it out, two jabs, 20 seconds of work. We start in three, two, let's go, let's go. Lateral shuffle, jab, jab, come on. Knock it out, knock it out, 20 seconds. Yes, you can, these are big, powerful punches. Put something behind them, put something behind them. Let's go, knock it out, come on. Strength and cardio, that's what we're here for. Knock it out, knock it out, Woo! Five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it off, dumbbell right hand. Half burpee, single arm row, just on the right. We're there in five, here we go. Three, two, let's go. So give me a half burpee and bent over row on the right. Half burpee, bent over row on the right. Rachel is walking, I'm jumping. You do what works for you. Come on, yes you can. We got 10 seconds here guys, 10 seconds. Nice work, stay in it, stay in it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells in front of you, lateral shuffle. Giant step right, lateral hopper shuffle, two jabs. Knock it out, we go in three, two, let's go, let's go, come on. Boom, 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 come on, put something behind those punches. Make them big, make them strong, make them powerful. Push off those outer glutes, land soft on the toes, stay loaded in the legs. Lot to think about, woo, five, four, three, two, one, woo. Dumbbell left hand, half burpee row just on the left, half burpee row just on the left. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Half burpee, row on the left, half burpee, row on the left. Come on, you got this. Yes, you can. One rep at a time. Let's go, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Come on, bring it home, bring it home. Right here, you're in it for three, two, and one. Dumbbells in front of you. Giant step left, push right for the final time. <laughs> Round three, this is it. Three, two, let's go, hop it, punch it. Woo, jab, jab. Come on, jab, jab. Boom, boom. Right, left. 
Knock it out, knock it out. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Finish strong, guys. Right here. Finish it. You got this. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Final time. You're going to alternate hands. Burpee. Row right. Burpee. Row left. In three, two. Let's go. Let's go. Burpee. Row right. Burpee. Row left. Come on. Alternate that hand. This is it. Your final move. And we're stretching, guys. We're stretching. Come on. Finish strong. Yes, you can. Five seconds. Five seconds. Bring it home. Three, two, one. Woo! Dumbbells are off to the side. High fives to Rachel and to you at home. Absolutely crushed it. Let's stretch it out. Whew. All right, Ty, let's go ahead, flap those wings. I'm gonna grab a quick sip. Right where we started this workout, flap those wings. And shake it out. Woo, nice work. From here, go ahead, just take a couple neck rolls side to side. Nice, maybe go all the way up and around, all the way up and around the other direction. Okay, those traps, those shoulders tend to creep up. Let's roll it over to the right shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Right hand comes on top. Gentle little neck stretch. Option to just extend the left fingertips long down your body. Option to take this arm, reach for the middle of the back. Palm's going to face out away. It's going to open up the neck and the trap. Right here, this trap muscle gets involved a lot of those exercises. Nice. Just creating length between ear and shoulder. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Now you're going to counteract what we did by pulling those shoulder blades together. Take your right arm out, left arm follows, push your hands to me. Think about pulling your shoulder blades apart here, counteracting all those rows and flies. Hold it for three, two, one. Let's just reverse it because it's going to feel good. Take those hands behind your chest or behind your back. Interlace the fingers, pull the knuckles away from the tailbone, chin goes up to the ceiling. Nice, big inhale. Think about spreading those chest muscles apart. Hold it here for three, two, one, nice. Now left ear comes to left shoulder. Left hand goes on top, gentle neck stretch. You can send those right fingertips down the side or you can reach for the middle of the back. Palm faces out away from the body, creating length from ear to shoulder. Nice, just opening up the neck and the traps. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Take a gentle neck roll side to side. Big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, sink down into the bottom of a nice loaded squat. Just wobble it out side to side. That should feel good. From here, you're going to come into that quadruped position on all fours. And we're going to think about dropping the belly, lifting the chin, and then reverse it. Think about pulling those shoulder blades apart again. Hold here in this position, pulling your shoulder blades apart, and slide your right hand under your left wrist. So shoulder blades are pulled apart, and you're just reaching away. This should be a nice shoulder stretch, opening up that upper back right here. Low back gets a nice release, too. Hold it for three, two. One, come back to center from here. Hips are going to stay high. Hands are going to walk away. Forehead comes to the mat. Puppy dog stretch. So light child's pose, but the hips stay high. Think about walking those fingertips away from your body, creating length from fingertip to tailbone. Just reach, reach, reach. Big inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale. Let the belly drop. Nice. One more. Big inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale. Creep those fingers away a little bit further. Walk it back in. Find that quadruped position. Again, drop the belly, lift the chin, reverse it, tuck that tailbone up towards the ceiling, or tuck the spine up towards the ceiling, pull the shoulder blades apart. Now take your left hand and creep it under your right wrist so shoulder blades are continuing to pull apart. Just opening up through that left shoulder right here. Reach, reach, reach. Awesome job. Nice work. Bring it back to center. Go ahead, sit on your booty. We'll do one final upper body stretch. You can sit however is comfortable for you. We're going to do eagle arms. So I'm going to take my right arm. It's bent at 90 degrees. Left arm threads underneath. Palms to touch if I can. Think about pulling my elbows away from my body and reaching up towards the ceiling. This should feel so good for that upper back. Yes, we love a good eagle arm. Woo, that feels nice. Hold here for three, two, one, gently release, go ahead, other side. Left arm comes out at a 90 degree bend, right arm threads underneath, palms to touch if you can. Think about pulling the elbows away, fingertips up. Nice work, just opening up those shoulder blades, those traps, releasing all that tension. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Go ahead, release. Awesome, Rachel. Way to go, Liz. Awesome job to you at home. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'd love to sweat with you again soon, so come back for more workouts. Have a good day.